how to transfer everything from old Android to iPhone 17 or 17 Pro. Now first, put up your iPhone and go to the hello screen and select a language. Here, select a region. So select the region that you are using, uh, that you are in. And here I will select a region. So United States. Next, we will choose appearance, default, medium size, or a larger uh, icons and text size. So I will select default and tap on continued. Here's a quickly set up iPhone. So if you have another iPhone, it will try to search for one, but because we are using Android, so we're going to set up without another device. Okay, after that, connect to your Wi-Fi network and print the password. And once you are connected to your Wi-Fi network, the phone will attempt to connect to Apple server to uh, activate the device. Okay, next we tap on the continue button and choose adult. Now here you can choose to set up face ID now or you can set up later. So we can choose set up face ID now. So tap on continue button and you need to uh, place your face within this circle right here. So tap on get started and then just simply look around. And then move your head around in a circle. And after that, we choose don't use face ID with a mask or with a mask. So that's up to you. And face ID has now been completed. So tap on continued. Next, we create a passcode. So here I will create a passcode. And so the passcode can e easily be guessed. So I can choose a different one. And I will select use anyway. We enter the passcode to confirm. Next, you want to choose from Android. And then tap on the continue button. Now I say here, open move to iOS on your Android device to get started. So on your Android device, go to Play Store and download an app called Move to iOS. So in Play Store, download the app called Move to iOS. So you can use the search button and then tap on open and then tap on continued on your Android device. Tap on agreed. Uh, we will use Wi-Fi, so it will be a wireless transfer. And here, it can detect the iPhone 17 Pro, as you can see. So tap on the device name, and then tap on continued. So tap on continued here, and then over here, tap on continued. And we enter in the code, one, two, five, zero, five, five. And now they are both connecting to each other. Here, select all the items that you want to move over. So because we want to transfer everything over, so we select everything. Tap on allow. If it prompt, if there's a prompt, make sure you grant the permission. So scroll down and basically um, transfer everything over. Uh, it asks you to verify WhatsApp uh, details. Uh, you can do it now if you want, or you can um, choose to leave out WhatsApp. Now it's verified, and here we tap on uh, continue to access media. Tap on allow, allow all, next. Now this is only specific if you have um, WhatsApp. If you don't have WhatsApp, you won't have this um, uh, step right here. Alternatively, you can also just leave WhatsApp out and you can transfer it manually over later on. If there is anything specific that you want to include, you can choose add files in here. I will leave it out for now and then tap on continued. And now it's said transferring to iPhone. And you can see now it is now in the process of transferring uh, photo library, videos and uh, whatnot. So because my phone doesn't have a lot of data, so it should be quick. But if your Android phone have like 
20 or 100 gigs of data, such as photos and videos, it may take a long time. So just be patient during this process. Here, it said 420 items transfer. So it give you a summary of what has been transferred over. So you want to double check. Tap on done over here. On the iPhone, we'll tap on the continue button. Next, we need to sign to our Apple account. So put in your Apple ID, email or phone number. Then tap on continued. Next, put in the password and tap on the go button. Okay, once you put in the correct password and account ID, tap on agree. Here it is now signing in to our Apple account. Here, tap on the continue button or customize. If you tap on customize, here it says update to your iPhone. So tap on continued. Turn on location services or set up later. So I will select turn on location services now. Here you can choose to set up your Apple Pay now or you can do that later on. So I'll select set up later. Next is the screen time. So you can choose to turn on screen time now or later. So tap on continued. Here, choose don't share with Apple. And then select light, auto or dark. So I will select auto and tap on the continue button. You can choose to set up Apple intelligence or set up later. And here, customize your notifications or later. So I will choose it later on, not now. Okay, camera control, so you can set up live press, GHS, zoom, exposure, and more. So that's for this button on the side here. Then tap on continued. And here we've got visual intelligence with camera control, tap on continued. And you can choose to customize the action button now or later on. So if you tap on custom, uh, by default it is set to silent. So you've got focus, camera, visual intelligence. I will leave it as silent mode and tap on continued. Okay, next you can set up Siri now or later on. And then tap on continued. And then tap on get started to get ready. And that's it. So go into settings and here you can go through and double check uh, on apps and other things. So say so this uses iPhone when share your location. So tap on use, uh, add your Android device apps from the app store. So anything that you want to add, you can tap on app, uh, add apps. So I just don't add for now. And that's it. So that's how you can transfer um, apps and other things from your Android device over to your iPhone. You can see a lot of stuff get carried over. And any apps that you want to use, you can just tap on it and we'll start downloading. So view in App Store, in App Store. And that's it. And finally, you can uh, download. Thank you for watching this video.